are a part of me, O all your Cartiers, and of dire pauvreté, and of richesse, to finish time my homage loyal claim. You are locale of infancy, milieu vital of institutes that formed my fate, and you above the city, scintillant Mount Royal, are my spirit's mother, our native Poitrinate. A.M. Klein recorded this recitation of his poem Montreal on the McGill University campus in 1957, some time after having served as McGill's visiting poetry lecturer. It formed part of a collection of readings published by Folkways Records that same year, a collection that included Montreal modernist poets and fellow McGill writers A.J.M. Smith, F.R. Scott, Irving Layton, Louis Dudek, and Leonard Cohen. These are only a few of the illustrious literary voices that McGill has fostered over two centuries. Born in Ukraine to Ashkenazi parents, Abraham Moses Klein was raised in the bustling Jewish neighborhoods of Montreal. A stunning linguist who was fluent in English, French, Yiddish, Hebrew, and Latin, he went on to become a poet, lawyer, literary critic, and community leader. As an undergraduate student at McGill, Klein was a tour guide on sightseeing buses. These motor coaches looped through the city, beginning in the port, up to the university, along Sherbrooke, climbing Mount Royal before descending through Lafontaine Park. Shuttling tourists up the mountain may have inspired a rosy, panoramic perspective, but Klein's lived experiences in the city, in his community, lent a specificity to his prose that truly resonates with Montrealers. At McGill, Klein belonged to a network of young Jewish writers, artists, scholars, and radicals, many of whom faced institutional discrimination caused by quotas and restrictions based on race or ethnicity to get an education. This cohort would forever change the fabric of Canadian contemporary art. Making his own mark as an undergraduate, Klein co-founded the McGilead, a magazine published by the Arts Undergrad Association from 1930 to 1931. Out of Klein's creativity, cultural openness, and literary criticism emerged a distinct Jewish-Canadian modernist style that reflected the linguistic and cultural intersections of Montreal. A generation later, in 1951, a young Leonard Cohen enrolled at McGill. Here, he attended stirring lectures by Louis Dudek, an influential alum who established the McGill Poetry Series in 1956. Cohen's first volume of poetry, Let Us Compare Mythologies, was the inaugural publication from Dudek's series, and it launched his meteoric career as a poet and musician. Fellow classmate Ruth R. Weiss, who became the first professor to teach Yiddish literature at McGill, remembers discussing the particulars of the book with Cohen and Dudek at Ben's Deli. This open all night Jewish deli was a favorite haunt of McGill literati, and the restaurant owner, Ben Kravitz, hung portraits of writers on the wall. Poetically, a pantheon of Canadian writers surrounded Dudek, Cohen, and Weiss as they shuffled pages of poetry and Frida Gutman's accompanying sketches, which would be published as illustrations to Cohen's book. From the laminate tabletops of delis like Ben's and other places where the city's writers would gather, to the top of Mount Royal, Montreal has been a source of inspiration for generations of writers who, like Klein, would translate the city's texture into written word.